Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another IT video. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at an easy way to turn a Canon camera, DSLR or mirrorless, into a webcam using EOS Webcam Utility. Uh, it's a new piece of software that came out. I'm a couple weeks behind, but oh well, so be it. But it's a new piece of software that came out. It's in beta, and there's a certain list of cameras that it works with. I'll have that in the description below. So if you have one of those cameras, go ahead and finish watching this video. If you don't have one of those cameras, I have another video on how to use Canon's live view feature to capture, to use that as a webcam for Streamlabs. And there's a method that you can do to get that to work with other uh, applications where you might need a webcam. So either way, if you have a Canon camera, you should be able to work around some way to use it as a webcam. Let's get started with the webcam utility. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is go to the link in the description for the EOS Webcam Utility Beta download. And you're going to scroll down and select your camera. So this is the list of cameras that it's compatible with. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the M50 and scroll down and download the EOS Webcam Utility Beta for Windows. Unfortunately, they do not have a Mac OS version, only Windows right now. So go ahead and download that. When it's done, you should be able to open it up. And I don't even think you have to extract it. And I already have it, so just go ahead and go through the installation steps. It's really simple. I'm sure you guys can handle that. Now, the next thing you have to do is if you have EOS Utility installed, just the regular EOS Utility, you have to make sure that that's not connecting to the camera first. So you have to come down here to your taskbar, right-click on it, and click Do Not Launch. EOS utility automatically and then after you do that go ahead and quit the program now what this does is it allows the EOS webcam utility to pick up the camera before EOS utility itself does so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and quit EOS utility and I'm going to have to switch to webcam utility because I'm using EOS utility right now to remote control my camera so be right back all right, so we're gonna have a little inception going on here for a second, but I just wanna show you how we can add this to Streamlabs now. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a video capture device, add the source, I'm going to add a new source. All right, now I'm going to choose EOS Webcam Utility Beta. And this should pop up. My camera is on already. And there we are. So I would just leave everything at default. It does a pretty good job. It only runs at 1024 by 576, but when I full screen this, you're gonna be able to tell that it's not that big of a difference. So go ahead and click done. And now we can resize this here. I'm gonna make it full screen so you can see how that looks. So yeah, this is recording straight off of the camera over USB using the EOS webcam utility. And let me go ahead and move Streamlabs off my screen here and shrink this down to size. And just like that, this would be your typical webcam size window. And we're working flawlessly here. Now, I couldn't get this working in Discord at all. As you can see, I just get a black input here. But if I show you on... But if I just go to webcam test and click play here and click allow, boom, there we go. So as you can see, we have a perfectly good webcam input. You should be able to use this for Skype, Zoom, like I said, any pretty much any video calling software that you're going to need. Or it works with Streamlabs, OBS. I'm sure it works with like YouTube Live, things like that, Facebook Live. So if you have any problems, it's probably because it's still in beta, but they should be fixing problems as they come up and as more versions come out. So always download the latest version, check for updates because they may fix features or add more camera support. So keep checking the link in the description. The camera support might grow. And if this video helped you out at all, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want any more coronavirus content, go ahead and give me a subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And to the hundred of you who subscribed since my last video, I really appreciate it. I've doubled my subs in like two months. So I can't thank you guys enough. Stay safe out there. Have a good Memorial Day. Take it easy.